am frankly to the back teeth talking about the NHS, but it is massively important that we do so. Dr Tony O'Sullivan is co-chair of Keep Our NHS Public. Joining me now, Tony, good morning. Welcome to breakfast. Good morning. Now, uh, Tony, one of the things, well, I don't know if we're going to agree or we're going to disagree, right? One of the things that I hear every single night is we need more money. That's one side of the argument, and I know you were given 3.3 billion yesterday and you probably wanted 70, 7 billion or something like that. One of the other sides of the argument is that the, the, the NHS, yes, needs more doctors and nurses, but it needs less diversity officers, less brainstorming sessions, and it needs to get its house in order. Where do you sit on this, my friend? Well, it's a national emergency, uh, and we're at 13 years into this government, uh, and I feel the state of the NHS is the responsibility of the Conservatives. They're guilty of gross mismanagement. When you say, let's cut to the chase, we're mismanagement way, we're way by past what? Window dressing, well, when you say mismanagement, they don't manage the NHS. What about the managers? I was I, I was given lots of statistics the other day about wastage. What would you say about that? It's one of the biggest organisations in the world, and, and uh, the, the, there's always room for looking at efficiency savings, but that in no way is that the answer to 13 years of underfunding, where if you compare it to co comparable economies and health services, we are 20 to 30 percent underfunded. And that that is why you have a 7 million uh, waiting list. That is why there's 34 hospitals with their ceilings propped up by steel bars. That is why there's 132,000 vacancies. The government's failed to have a workforce strategy for since nine, t since 2010. They, they cut nurse training. They put on hold, uh, medical school expansion and th they've left the NHS in the shambles that it is in. Do you, do you believe the... They, they, do are, you, they do you, are the political... Sorry, just one last thing. They are the political managers of the NHS. But they're not, with the greatest of respect, and we can talk about this until the cows come, and they might be political managers of money, but how, how does 3.3 billion a year for the next two years not help the NHS? Can I put a very... It is a controversial opinion, but I'm as entitled to mine as you are as entitled to yours. Let me give you a story I told the other night. The, my local hospital during the pandemic, right... Private hospital, not my local hospital, private hospital, the NHS approached them and the NHS paid £10 million for 18 months to use 90% of the space of that hospital so that all the other stuff was pushed down the end. This was the pandemic that the NHS signed off. How many beds, how many people do you think in 18 months went to that hospital? The contract that the four, NHS, four, the, the, four, the, NHS, four, the contract, sorry. Four people, 10 million that, quid. What I'm asking you is, and again, yeah. I only try and put what the people who watch and listen to this network want, is that a lot of people will say it mm -hmm. can't want any more money. It needs to organise itself better. It is a, I mean, here, here's another thing. <laughs> Are we making this great... You will let me have a go in a minute, won't you? Yeah, I will do. But are we this great concept of offering people? Maybe we're offering too many people who haven't bloody well paid into it at all, ever. All yours. Well, I, I don't know. That, 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 that's just feeding into a, a whole other um, stereotype of, of uh, people abusing the NHS. Look, th there's... Yeah, please don't try to say that the, the government in office has, ha has got nothing to do with the management of the NHS. For, for example, there are um, £11 billion pounds this year wasted on agency fees for filling gaps in NHS rotors. £11 billion. Pounds. Now, that is a direct result of government failure to plan the workforce and to train and to respect nurses and doctors and therapists and, and everyone else to the point where they will not only be in post, but they will want to stay in post. They'll be able to. There's a third of hospitals with food banks for their own staff. There's the, the GPs has, have the highest suicide rate amongst professional groups because of the pressure they're under. There's a need for 7,000 more GPs. There's, there's a gross failure of management in social care. 
How you don't think you, that you, you're going to you... tell me that I'm jumping in, but do you not think there's a gross failure of management in the NHS? T Terry in Birmingham says, so waste doesn't matter, says this doctor. That attitude says it all. Stop throwing money at it and get them to be more efficient. What do you say to that? I say that I've worked in the NHS myself for 40 years. I, I'm, I was surrounded by people whose primary intention was to be efficient and effective for their staff. Mm -hmm. They're committed to higher standards. We uh, have five or six years of austerity up to 2015, 2016. We worked extra hours. We put on extra clinics for, for no extra resources. We worked ourselves into the ground. And then the wheels started coming off because the funding and the support just was not there. So just don't give me Jeremy Hunt saying that we can be more efficient and more effective. The comparison with Singapore. Singapore is the um, second richest country in the world with GDP per capita. And it's half the size of London. Jeremy Hunt is just deceiving us saying that they can compare... Um, Singapore with Britain for efficiency. He compares Scandinavia. The biggest there is an assumption that taxes are an investment in public services, an investment in the health of the public, in the education of the public, whereas in this country you've got the highest poverty rate amongst children, you've got children relying on food from food banks, you've got poverty as a huge indicator for health inequality, and you've got one of the worst child mortality rates, etc. maternity services. If you can't, if, if the country doesn't see that the government in charge for 13 years is responsible, including responsible for who they put in charge of the health service, by, by the way, you know, that then, then we are in trouble. We, we need a drastic change of political direction. We need a belief in public services. We need to get public servants respected with a decent pay rise rather than losing 20% over the last 10 years and now facing inflation of 11%. Sorry to, sorry to annoy somebody who says we always say we're out of time, but we are because we have the news. Tony O'Sullivan, thank you very much indeed. We'll agree to disagree. I think the NHS deserves to get its house in order. Maybe it needs more money, but I think it needs to manage itself a lot better.